Hello everyone, it's Nick here, and we're looking at the fourth table in Zen Pinball 2 Pack, the core collection, uh, published by Zen Studios in 2014, and we've already looked at Secrets of the Deep, Rome, and Biolab from this set. Now, Pasha is set in uh, Persia, it's based, I think, loosely around Aladdin. There's not too much to do on this table, now the four is probably my, well, least favourite, but quite close with Biolab. I think I like Rome the best. So what's this table about as we load it up? Well, as I say, we're set in Persia. Uh, there's a street vendor on the table, a guard, a magic lamp. Here we go. It's like a mini game underneath the table, but that'll seal up in a minute. You see those targets going backward and forward. We have to defeat guards. It's nice and colorful. There's the magic lamp there, the top left, and a guard next to him. We have to lock balls in that ramp next to him, which hopefully I'll do at least once. Uh, the pop bumpers are quite cool, they're made up of the tops of like, Persian looking buildings. A few hidden buildings and the back there, lots of flashing lights, but that, you can probably say that of all um, pinball tables. There is a tradesman at the left which we can't quite see at the moment. If you unlock him you have a, like, a mini game, you have to find a ball hidden under three cups where they switch them round. Good music though. There he is, there's that bizarre man, he's asleep there. Hopefully we'll wake him up, but who knows. Right, so you see the, the playfield sealed up again. That mini table below is uh, hidden. So let's the launch it. Journey has begun. The caravan arrived to a small town. See, the caravan's arrived to a small town. There's the book open. And basically we go through a set of, well, it's like story mode here. Keep an eye on the video display on the uh, top left. That'll tell us what to do periodically. It's very hard to do the game and look at that at the same time. Right, we've all pinball tables knowing which targets to hit. So you see I've got the two bottom flippers, which are the same everywhere, and then we've got um, the two mid flippers. Right, okay, let's get the ball round here. Did we do that? I do not know, probably. There's the pop bumpers there, which are the tops of buildings. Right, so we've got one ramp slightly to the left. There's a couple of... Um, Ramps either side of the guard. Right, we've done this. Right, now, the idea is you have to take out all these primary guards and hit those two guards up the top. But the, the flippers aren't very big there, and so we didn't do it. Oh dear, Z's coming up for the, the Fez man in his little building. The caravan arrived to a small town. The caravan arrived to a small town. The, the guard up the top there is clapping, or is he a genie? The lamp is fully charged with magic. Good. Right, there's two targets below the guard. If you knock them down, it, there's a like, sinkhole below it. Right, if we knock the ball between the... Oh, we lost it. If we knock the ball between there, we might have released some sort of mode. Do, 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 do. Ancient Persia. Are you a fan of Aladdin and the 40 Thieves? If so, you'll probably like this table. But good value for money, this cool collection pack. You get four tables for $7.99. Uh, English money, or $9.99. Uh, much better tables were to come, I think, but um, I think it's a rehash of some earlier tables there, but this was re-released as a pack in 2014. If you buy it the PlayStation 3, which I'm playing this on now, it also comes out, you also get it free on the PS Vita. This is always struggling for popularity, I don't know why, I love the thing. Right, it's got a bit dark. Du -du 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 -du, a bit moody. Right, we locked a ball there, I think. Ball off. So if any of these tables, multi balls the way to go, that's where the big points come in. Alright, see if I can knock those two targets down this time and release something. Missed it. Oh, oh dear. Keep going, keep going. Deary me. Notice on the launch uh, thing, there's an animated flame there, that looks quite cool. Gives the uh, table some life. Never goes out. Not that I'm aware of, that guard's waving at me. Oh, it wasn't hard enough there. No! The giant snake! Run! What giant snake? There's a giant snake about, folks. Where's the giant snake? Oh, don't. It's very important to nudge the table, you think you're going to lose it all for a break. Right, that's one target down. Oh. Right, aim a bit better, Nicky. It's next to it. That's the other side of it. Right, right, okay, so it's gone dark because we can release the ball. Good. 
Choose your story. Right, we need to choose what we're going to do here. Right. Oh! Oh, there must be... I need a bigger flipper there. This table doesn't exist in real life. It's a fantasy table by the geniuses of Zen Studios. Have you got this? Let me know. What's your highest score? Now, it's possible on these uh, Zen tables that they're, they're slightly easier than real life tables that the King Wall Arcade was out. So it's quite possible to have a go that lasts for hours. This go won't last for hours, but I've only played it literally a few times. And I don't think you can watch a review of this for hours. You just want to get a flavour of what's going on, what's the table about, is it worth buying? I think it is worth buying. Good. Also available on the PC by Steam, PS4 as well, and Xbox, I guess. Right. Is that multi ball I've unlocked? Or is it just two balls I've got? There we go! Multi ball! How many have we got? Three. Let's keep these in. Concentrate. Well, sometimes it's a bit tough with a rebound. Crazy. I love multi ball pinball. Watch out for the jackpot. Is he going to say. Oh, I've lost one. But we've got that relaunch. So there's a ball save for a certain amount of time, which is handy. Nice oh. shot. Nice shot. Good. Doing well then. Come oh, on, let's get some jackpots. Look out for those points that fly up in light blue. I would prefer them to be like in white and outline. They're a bit hard to see sometimes against that purple backdrop. But that's a minor gripe. Well, that genial guard's going a bit mental. Yay, 10 million! I've done something right. He was going a bit crazier than that guard at the top. 10 million. Well, that's good. This might be a good score then, right? Possibly. I love this music. Do, 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 do. As I say, not a great deal going on. I need that guy to wake up in the bazaar. Is that going to go somewhere? Right, what's happening there? Another hit there, and I think the ball might go past the guard. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. Right, come on, let's get it up that right. Yes! Hooray! You got a bit excited there. Oh, almost. Come on. We can do this, we can do this folks. Have you ever been to ancient Persia? Persia, I suppose that's Iran, isn't it? Iran, Iraq, that sort of area. Ooh. Ali Alibaba and the Forty Thieves. Who were the Forty Thieves? Name them below. Must have a handbag. I think that was one. And uh, must have a have a. Uh, I don't know. I can't think of any. Put your Forty Thieves names below. I'll be glad to hear them. Do 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 do. Magnificent. Thank you very much. This goes going on a bit. Thank you. you oh, you can never be told enough times if you're magnificent or not. Well, that's the end of the go. Oh dear, that was a bit brief. I think we'll have one other go. I didn't unlock too much there. N N N. Yeah, twenty-two million. Is that good? I don't know. I don't seem to be online again. Right. I think the big point is to that under table, hitting those two guards at the end. The caravan, to a small town. the caravan seems to arrive at a small village along here. I think there's a launcher on the left as well as the right. How do we get over there? Full save. It's quite generous for the full saves. A lot of these pinball tables are. I'll give you a chance to learn it. What's been attacked? That's new. Right, those damn guards at the top there have been hidden by their other guards. Come on. Oh, damn, they've got too many lackeys protecting them. Okay, the next town. Where's that? Where's the next town? Is this the new town? Good, we seem to be hitting that ramp quite a lot. A lot of grinding going on here. Hot bumpers. I would like to get some sort of bonus from them. That snake there is still hovering in the top left. Didn't do too much last time. I wonder what his name is. 
Sammy the Snake, probably. All animals in the animal kingdom have a name where their name, the first letter of it begins with what the animal they are, like SS for Snake with Sammy, uh, Ellie the Elephant, no, that's Nelly the Elephant. So my theory breaks down straight away in my first example given. Well done. Is, fully charged with magic. is it? Let's try and utilise the magic. The only other sort of style game like this I can remember from Pinball Arcade, um, well any pinball game really, is the Pinball Arcade, and it's Towers of the Arabian Nights. Check that one out, it's one of the earlier ones I did I think. One of the early Pinball Arcade tables. One of the first four. Quite a tricky table, has a spinning lamp on it. Things called Tiger Loops you have to get, and collecting jewels. Cool table actually, I prefer it to this one, because it's real. I, I'm losing count of how many pinball tables I've got now stored on my PlayStation 3. Must, I don't know if it's over 100, it might be. They're all unique. To the untrained eye, these pinball tables all look the same. Just someone knocking a ball around the place randomly. As we know now, if you follow at least a few of these, all the games have different rules. It takes a bit of skill to master, different uh, modes to unlock. But they are different if you give them enough time. Come on. Oh dear. If you don't know what you're doing on these tables, um, they do give you rules that you can uh, look up that come with the game. But essentially, listen for the musical cues and the announcements, and quite often, whatever's flashing on the table is a good idea to hit, and that'll guide you in the right direction if you're a newbie. When I look at the highest scores online worldwide, quite often you just have a score like 1,000 million or something like that, and that seems absolutely crazy. I don't think I'd like to be that good. It would take up too much of my time spending half a day on a table. You never know though, I might be touched by the gods one day and be absolutely sensational. Nick, you won't be. There's no magic carpets in this, I don't think. As a kid, that's the thing I wanted most from ancient Persia, a flying carpet. That'd be awesome. Avoid the traffic going to work or wherever you're going, college. Brilliant. It might be a bit breezy, though. And they don't have any seatbelts, do they, these magic carpets? Actually, scrap that. I'd probably fall off and die. No magic carpet for me. Unless it's got a seatbelt. Or maybe a bucket. The caravan arrived. Small yep, we're at the small town again. These small towns often in trouble. Right, the snake mold. What have we got to hit here? What's flashing? Two ramps. Over to the side. We've got. To it must be quite easy to run away from a snake, must it? I mean, they just sliver about. Right, choose your story. I'll try to. By hitting the right ramp or whatever. Kick back activated. Good. Kick back, if you don't know, means if the ball drains, it's um, down the left or the right, uh, it does kick the ball back. At least once. The next time it will just drain as normal. Du, 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 du. So out of these four table um, um, core collection, I'd rank Rome as my favourite one, second second secret of the deep, third, I'd have to say Pasha now this one, and fourth is Biolab. But Biolab is quite interesting, I just didn't get the hang of it really. You have to create different like aliens, meddle with DNA. The music's quite good on that one, but I found it a bit tough. Ball say, thank you. That bloke sounds very similar to um, Alec Guinness. Right, we'll do this again. Thank you very much. We went over both yellow lights, got it to the end, and got a million. I don't seem to be waking up that guy at the bazaar. You have to light up all the letters of his sign before he actually jumps into action. Yeah. Did 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 did. Nice artwork, as I say. Uh, very in tune to the theme, all in keeping with it. And you see left and right of the table, which um, Zen Studios always give fine detail, is they put you in a room that makes you look like you're actually in that environment. I don't know, we're in some sort of hallway, are we? There's some 
tiles that look like a bit like what we had in the 70s in our kitchen. I suppose that's the style of uh, Persia or Iran. Yeah. Our, our time has changed. But it's all to do with perspective. Really. The Book of Tales has closed. Oh no. The Book of Tales has closed. Right, I've locked the ball. Which normally would be quite painful, but in pinball time, well, it's uh, quite a good thing to do. I don't think there's too much more I can show you here. There's not, there's not a great deal to this table. Uh, the best bit is when it goes dark a bit like this. Gives you a bit of atmosphere. The caravan, arrived to a small the caravan keeps arriving at a small town. And you move along through the story and go to various different towns. Uh, there's that snake mode that we sort of done, which is a bit like that. Book of Tales has Hooray! You can see the Book of Tales, there's, there's like three black bits and one coloured in, and that's the one we're doing, or the ones we've completed. So I haven't completed too many, because I'm a little bit rubbish. Could I recommend the core collection? Well, if you've got Zen Pimple 2 anyway, uh, then you might as well go for it. But uh, I go for some other tables first before this one. Go for the, the theme tables like the Star Wars or the Marvel ones. Uh, in particular, my favourite table so far, apart from Sorcerer's Lair, is the most recent at the time of reviewing uh, the Aliens uh, tables. Where you get one based on the Aliens film with Ripley, and then Alien vs Predator, and then Alien Isolation based on the game. Aliens is the best of those three, I think. But good tables. Let's concentrate on Pash R and his Book of Tales. Oops. Ball lost. Ball lost. I think I might only have one ball left and then that's left. Kaboom. Oops. There we go, so we've got a kick back there. Well, we didn't really need it because the ball save was on, so we probably probably a bit of a waste. Those swords that curve, I think, are called a scimitar. I think. Let me know if that's wrong. I never saw the point of a curved sword. Why would you have a curved sword? Why is that in the card? Multi ball. Multi ball. Right, let's get some big super points here. I think three ball multi ball is the highest you can have in this. In some tables it goes extremely mad. You can have a five ball multi ball. Yay, I found some treasure! That's always good news. Why doesn't that happen in real life? Sometimes I wish I was around in the 16th or 17th century where you're on a ship, a pirate ship, you discover a, a box of treasure somewhere on some long lost island and you can retire for life. Instead of going to work every day. Yeah, anyway. I think uh, when I was at school I thought I'd be written by my age when I was Hooray, well done. I live by my life choices, and not die by them just yet. Right, you never know. If uh, someone goes back in time and changes things, I might be able to make a living out of YouTube. But, uh, yeah, what's the secret? There's a lot of cheaters out there, buying views and subscribers, but in the end they're going to build themselves a dead channel. No one can do that. Although it feels like sometimes I'm competing against people that are on drugs, because they're buying these subscribers, I think this is the best long way to do it. To get genuine views and be a genuine channel and not be fake. What do you think? Let me know. Ball lost. Ball lost. I've lost my balls. Is that the last ball or have we got one more left? we got one more left. Hooray! Or oh, not hooray. This has been going on longer than I thought it would be. Oh. So yeah, I think I spent the longest on one of my least favourite tables out before. But I had this pitch fur, didn't I? I had a fire lamp. I've even forgotten what I'm saying. Duh, duh, duh. I'm not using that flipper at the top left nearly enough. I need to practice on that bit, because that's how it, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing out on some modes there, not using that. Well, I'm trying to go. No. My, my timing is ridiculously slow. It's because of the view I'm using. There is, a, I think, seven different views on this. You can have a top-down view, but for me, that's a bit far away from the table. And as a review you watching it, you might not be able to see everything properly. 
No, I think this is the, this is the best compromise, I think, this one. There we go. He's waving, wave back at him. Hurry up. Hurry up. Yeah, I'm starting to get a bit bored now. Whoops, oh, that might have saved us all. Not a bad table, this one, not a bad one, not my favourite. Nice animation with the camels. Yeah, I mean, I hope you liked having a, a look at that one, see what the Pasha table had to offer. Uh, published by Zen Studios in 2014 as a download, as I say, with those other free tables in the core collection. Thanks for watching, as always. It's always appreciated. If you've got something to say below about pinball, or this table in particular, feel free to do so, and I'll probably answer it. And till next time, take good care of yourself, and from Persia, a big goodbye. Goodbye.